today. Today, doing a sour beer, quick sour to be exact. This sour is going to be done with probiotics and with just two row. I did a beer a while back with probiotics. Turned out pretty good with Good Belly. When I was buying the Good Belly stuff, I bought a couple extra probiotics just in case to try their variances out. I didn't end up using them though. One of which was this Go Live probiotic. Yeast free it says, which is nice. So it's just gonna be bacteria, which is all I want. I'm gonna keep it around 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's a good range for the isobaluric acid that could be on the grain to be inhibited. I'm also going to fill this almost to the top of my one gallon jugs. Fill it with CO2, mainly for the isobaluric acid possibility of the uh, uh, two row one. If you're pitching like a pro like Lactobacillus brevis plantarum from a known company, commercial company I should say, probably don't need CO2. With probiotics, I think I'm going to do it just to be a little safe, but again, you don't probably have to for an actual commercial pitch. I will get the pH of 4.5 burst. That will help with head retention because lactobacillus can degrade proteins starting at a higher pH. Hopefully, you'll be done souring in about two days. That's what happened when I used grain for this last time. My pH target's around 3.5, 3.4. I will be fermenting them with brett. Probably do a little boil on each of them. Maybe throw some hops in there at that point but not much, if at all. And then I'll just fruit at least one of them. I've decided. We'll see how they turn out. I'm curious to see on the difference of flavors. One of the fruits I'm eyeing right now is a prickly pear puree. I had a prickly pear sour once from Council Brewing at a Sour Fest once, and that was incredible. So I think that will go well with it. I don't see it that often. Also going to be adding raw wheat and buckwheat. I want to experiment with buckwheat because it has caprylic acid in it. So caprylic acid uh, by itself is like goaty, like kind of unpleasant. And Brettanomyces, when it gets a hold of the caprylic acid, combined with ethanol, it can turn into ethylcaprylate. And ethylcaprylate is like pineapple, fruity. So I'm curious to see the Brettanomyces that I'm going to be using in the secondary or as the primary fermentation, if it even does anything with that at all. I'm also mashing pretty high on this. I'm going for about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Ideally, probably you could go a little cooler. Maybe closer to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I know some pro brewers will go as low as 147 for this. I, you know, I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. I i don't really mind to have as much extra dextrins in there anyway, because sour beers can get a little thin. Also, I will be adding calcium chloride to this, so I can also get my uh, body beefed up a little bit. Woo, that was a lot, huh? Let's get started. <music> on the pH. Okay, I'm going to add two milliliters of lactic acid and see where I'm at. I'm probably going to need close to four or five though. So that's a drop of 0.4. I'm going to add another three milliliters of lactic acid and that should give me to around 4.5 on paper. Uh -huh. 1049. Love it. This is kind of the jump. I think this would be good for even five gallons, to be honest, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, 
Okay, tucked away, ready to go. Let's see how they look in two days. All right, well, these both fermented. Yeast looks like it has gotten in there on both of them. I will be taking gravity reading too to see how much the gravity dropped. If it's a significant amount, then there's definitely something else in this. First, the probiotic one. Smells good, which is which is good. That's crazy. The grain one, that 3.3. Wow, that is. It's intense. I like it. So 3.5, 3.3. That's right where I want to be. Smells good. Now this is down to 1034. So from 1049. That's down there. So yeast is definitely in this. Lactobacillus cannot ferment that much uh, wort. It, it, the strains that can do that are fermenting at like, I think it's like 0.02 of a gravity point drop. So there's definitely yeast in this. Uh, let's take a gravity reading of the one with the grain in it. All right, this one is at 1042 or three. Now, this is still pretty warm. It's probably still about now closer down, probably down to like 95 degrees, something like that. So this seems to be, this has to be corrected a little bit uh, for the temperature of the ward or the beer basically at this point. So 1042, it just dropped two, but not near as bad as this. So if there is yeast in this, it didn't do much. All right, yeah, let's uh, finish all the rest of the steps here and uh, pitch the Britannomyces. There we have it. I would love to be able to like, bottle a couple of these without the fruits, just to compare. Which I might do, but you know, it's kind of, it's such a little amount, it's, it's kind of hard to do. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's ferment these puppies. Ready for the fruiting. Prickly pear puree, thawed. I had it frozen for a while. I think this was 20 bucks. Uh, well, I got it at cost through Sarah's work. Two pounds of it. Research I did, it was pretty common to do about a pound per gallon. I might do like 0.8, just to be safe. And I can always add a little more if I need to. I have one, a one gallon jug on a scale. This is the actual beer. And I'm only gonna be doing the sour that was uh, sour to the grains. So the other one I'll just leave and I'll just have it straight up as is. Let's give a smell. Smells really cool. It's weird. Doesn't smell sweet, it smells earthy. That's 0.82. It's gonna be a really cool pink color. All right, now I'm gonna transfer the beer directly onto it. Some of this, as always. Cool color. I'm gonna let it go for another couple weeks, just in case there might be some fermentation. I do not know the gravity reading on this. So we'll find out afterward. I might take one, might not. And uh, yeah, bottle from there or a keg. I have a keg open. I think I'm gonna call the video here and uh, stay tuned for the tasting. So uh, yeah, get out there and uh, try some uh, quick sours. They're really fun. Mm -hmm.